Hey gaming bees, it's Brianna aka Honeybree and welcome back to the Sims 4 Bad Blood Challenge. And as I've said before, um, today is, or this video is it today, um, this is the last video because I've gotten all the skills up. So we need to go handle, um, Arson. Now it's just about getting her at the right time. Because, you know, she's usually at work or something. I'm just waiting for everybody to, uh, why don't you put that down? Put it down, sister, so I can just throw it in the trash. Just throw it in the trash. Alright, thank you. Don't pick it up. Let me pick it up. You're picking it up, are you? Just picking it up. There we go. Alright. Now we will go and what's wrong with you? We need everybody in a good mood. You're uncomfortable. Why? Nobody told you to work out. Nobody told you to do that. So we're going to go here. We're going to visit with the whole uh, everybody in the household, of course. Um, and let's go. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Well, not really ending this part ending the series i'm excited about finally getting to beat arson's behind because she needs it so brb Alrighty, we are at arson's let's hope that she's in here let's just hope if i can knock on her door we're just counting oh, did i forget to set her front door i think i did yeah i did so we need to come to the back so i forgot to set the front door and even though she just went through the house just to do that Yo, let me in. Knock it on. On it again. What's going on? What's... Seriously. Really? We're having this problem? I don't know. My game keeps messing up and it's really annoying. Um, okay. My notification wall is full. Alright, come in. This is great. Alright, guys. We're back. And unfortunately, I do not see arson uh, anywhere pretty sure nobody's home so i don't know who let us in to begin with yeah she's not here no one's not here so i guess we're just gonna chill here in their house while they're not here not weird at all not weird let's put that away I'm like wasting food don't know why we're helping her out take that out so everybody's just gonna chill here and wait for her to get here i guess can we somehow, I'm pretty sure she's at work, which is annoying. Um, you, where's Arson? There we go. Uh, yeah, can't invite her over. So we just, we just have to wait. Oh, there are the kids, guys. Oh, look at them. They have the biggest face ever. She seems like she's like the really popular squad, <laughs> like, like it's um, like from Mean Girls with like the three of them. She's wearing pink. It's not Wednesday, but you know, you know what I mean. She does look like it. She looks like she hangs out with like, kind of. She's like a soccer girl, hangs out with like the sporty girls, and she just looks like she kind of fits it in anywhere. But she's not really popular, and he not really a popular guy either he's just you know friends with everybody kind of person i guess that can make you popular too but not, like not as popular as his sister as cassandra <laughs> cassandra goth um but what a k oh gosh he's really pissed off and guess who's here arson so it's time to insult her yard and we're going to Hello, where are you going? Where are you going, chit? Where are you going? And then we are going to mock her outfit. And of course, squad, where the heck are you guys? You need to come here and support your girl here. That's why you're here for. Go here. Stop using the computer. And go here. And then we will 
We're not trying to calm down. We're not trying to do a smooth apology. I'm gonna jeer at her. No, oh, let's just let's just sit down like we're having a civilized conversation here. Oh gosh, daughter's joining on this conversation. That's awkward. It's like, why are you being mean to my mom? She has no idea that her mom really doesn't really care about her. Oh damn, she's like, bye Felicia, get out my face. We're going to insult. Um, and we're not begging for forgiveness. Insult her house. And she's like, she's going to be like, I mean, look at your house. Compared to my house, your house is trash. Brush her off. Like, you mean nothing to me. Thought we were besties, but obviously we're not. And we are going to finally, finally fight. Let's go. Get on up, girls. It is time to handle your business. Oh, damn. I love the music. Is getting to her first fight. Hopefully she wins or this is going to be absolutely awkward. Oh, dang. Yes, girl. Hold her. Take a picture of that. Squad in the background. She got in a chokehold. Her vampire fangs just showing how much she's pissed off. And we're going to like zoom in so I can see her face better. And <laughs> trying to get like a good can't really see. But that's okay though. Oops, I'm actually like doing the video thing. That was my accident. Ooh, we won. We won. We won. We won. We won. I don't know why this is oh, because it's like upstairs. We won. And then they just look like they're having a normal conversation. Not like they just fought or anything. We won. So this is over. It is literally over. So this is what I'm going to do to like the end. I'm going to move everybody back. See, she won. It says triumphant from fighting. Um, oh, wait. I missed it. Bolstered with confidence emerging from an intense scuffle unscathed. Of course, cause she about y'all can finish the rest of that sentence. Okay, now we need to get everybody moved back with their families, like her. She needs to go, and so we're going to. Just, I guess we should travel with everybody, or should we do it from managed household? Let's just do it from managed household or managed worlds. Just go. So now everything's done. The squad can disperse. Of course, Cecilia can go and visit them from time to time and finally start her own life and not have to worry about dealing with arson. And then we have to move the kids in with the queen. What would it? Yeah, move them into the queen, which is going to piss them off. They're going to be confused. And it's just it's going to be a really awkward situation. Her kids are in here. A really really awkward situation of them explaining that the mom didn't care and they're not gonna believe that that's their mom you know what I'm saying that's awkward um manage household and we're going to manage uh, this one sorry about the snoring in the background guys um, do you apologize I'm in my room and my mom's taking a nap in here um okay so we need to move her into the mace family so let's take and move um they're in newcrest you you're going back and i guess no i think she should move like in her house by herself let her sister be in her own family hold on guys Alrighty guys, and oh my gosh, look at Arson's face. What is up with that face? Did you just realize how much you messed up? Like, I don't understand. Are you looking at a ghost of something behind us? I don't know. Anyways, guys, so I moved everybody else out. Um, Tanisha has decided to stay with Cecilia because, I mean, she, it's not like she has an a family outside or anything. And then I moved... Uh, how, let me show you, show you, show you. I moved um, Julian and Crimson Curse into the same house they were before together because, you know, they're like friends before they met us um, and became part of our squad. Of course, they're still a part of Cecilia's squad. They're just not like together 
unless you know um something happens and they need to go fight again so yeah that would be the only reason so oh my gosh guys it is the last episode of bad blood challenge and uh oh my goodness almost forgot we need to move out the kids from um arson and move them in with the queen now the queen of the the werewolves is not she's like currently out of the world not like i don't know like she's out visiting another planet let's just say and she can't take you know in her arson's kids so we have to move on move them in with the vampire queen who has no idea how to raise kids and they're already teenagers so that's a really awkward situation since they're you know they love their mom a lot and telling them how horrible their mom is it won't exactly be easy now where is the queen the queen's in here i believe isn't she in like the goth household um place yeah she is like i needed to find it um so arson you're going to be kids are going to move out um okay so she is in not there unplayed she's in a little creek and now i just need to find the household i don't remember what her last name was um <laughs> got their faces with summer's kids all right, what's the queen? Queen, queen, where are you? Queen Espinosa. So all of y'all are moving into there. Um, now, um, Catherine's gonna go because she didn't realize how horrible that Arsene's personality was. She didn't know all this was happening, what, why she even had these kids. She thought, you know, she's she wouldn't leave the kids because she's basically, it's kind of like their second mother. And she feels like if they're going, she's going to go along with them. So now they're all living in, you know, the Queen's castle. Queen's mini castle. And, um, yeah. So now everything is right with the world for now. Don't know if maybe I could bring back a future series with the same people. Or maybe this is just the end of the Cecilia, uh, Cecilia, <laughs> Cecilia squad. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm trying to find Cecilia's house. Um... I'm not really sure. But anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this series of The Sims 4 Bad Blood Challenge Ryan Pirates vs. Werewolf Edition. Um, do make sure to thumbs up this video and comment down below where the sun doesn't shine and it's going be buzzing out. I'll be talking to you guys in a different series. Goodbye. Ow. Oh, she's the chick. Got it. Move out the Listen, way. can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy.